Let's welcome in Mariners GM Jack Zarensic. Jack, thank you for spending a little time with us. So last season in the offseason, it was you and the Mariners who ended up making the big splash by signing Robinson Cano. Ten years, $240 million. And so I'm anticipating you guys are looking to build on that. There's been a lot of a buzz out there that you guys potentially are interested in maybe signing Hanley Ramirez. So what are your plans here for the 2014 offseason? Well, it was it was a fun year, and I think it was a, a really a, a good year for our young players to grow a little bit, which we hope they would, and had a great experience going down to the last day of the season. But we're going to try to make our club better. You know, I think we'll go down every avenue, whether it's free agency or whether it's trade, and see where it takes us. You know, you never know, but uh, you know, we're 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 going to be fairly aggressive, and we're going to try to do the very best for the Mariners. Hey, Jack, following up on that question, uh, you guys made tremendous progress last year, and what do you attribute that to, and how do you want to build on that? philosophically or any personnel moves as you go through the course of this year and into spring training? Well, as you guys said, I think our pitching was outstanding. You know, not only our, our starters, but our bullpen. It was, it was terrific. So um, we had a record-setting year in a lot of ways, uh, certainly club-setting records. But, you know, I think Lloyd and his staff did a wonderful job. You know, I'm very, very proud of the job they did with these players. Um, terrific. And uh, also as young kids growing up, you know, we had some of these kids like a Seeger and a and a Miller and uh, Ackley, these guys are, you know, look like they're, they're prone to take the next step, you know, and I think as we continue to build this, we're looking forward to better days ahead. Jack, hey, it's Sean Casey. Talk about that a little bit. Talking about Dustin Ackley, a guy that was drafted high, uh, that was expected to have a big bat, came around a little bit this year. What are your expectations for him moving forward? You know, he, he's got a natural swing. I think people that have been around him all think he's going to hit. You know, and I think there were really good signs that, that he showed us the second half of the season. It's been spurty. Uh, but I think Dustin's a kid that's, that's starting to, to figure out, and, and I think he's taking the next step. He's going to take the next step. He's a good player. He's done a great job in the outfield for us with the work with Andy Van Slyke. And, you know, he's going to be a quality hitter, and we're, 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 hey, we're happy he's with us. Hey, Jack, this is John Smoltz. They say there's no crying in baseball, but if you have an opportunity to complain about something, it would be the travel. How do you deal with the travel because of the extremes you have to go to? Is there anything as a team you look into to better equip your team for what was a really rough September because of your travel? I see that the schedule makers took it easy on you this September, so that's nice. You got some home games coming in. But what can you do as a team or an organization? Well, it, no question. I mean, it, it can be challenging, but I think the one thing the organization did last year is we got a private plane and made it a lot easier, you know, where the entire plane was first class. Um, and I think that made it, made it uh, much more comfortable for the players. So, you know, we've done a lot of work with our sleep study program and uh, have advised some of the players on how to handle themselves when we travel. But uh, it's a great group of guys. It's a great city, you know, and it, hey, it's part of the things you have to overcome. All right, before we let you get out of here, let me ask you about Robinson Cano here. You had him for the first of a potentially 10 years moving forward. What did you learn about Robbie? Obviously, we saw he was spectacular on the field once again. But what did we not see that even you learned about Robinson Cano? You know, he's a genuine guy. And I think that when we brought him here, we brought him here for his talent. We'd heard good things about him as a person. And I think when he came here, everybody, the players, coaching staff, the community embraced him. He's got a very, very high baseball IQ, and I think his relationship with his teammates uh, and his coaching staff and everybody in the front office was, was first class. You couldn't ask for any better. He's a terrific player, terrific person. All right, uh, and, of course, he's represented by Rock Nation and Jay-Z. And, Jay-Z, we're, we're proud and appreciative that you joined <laughs> us here on MLB Tonight. <laughs> Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on.